Hey, bro, wanna play hot potato? Come on, come on, give me the egg, give me the egg. Don't be so stingy, bro, don't be so stingy. Welcome back to a brand new episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And the time has finally arrived when they finally have released the Ovi Raptor. The brand new funny looking Ovi Raptor that looks like a chicken for its head. Come on, that definitely looks like a chicken's head. This dino is quite fun to have because he will do all the tedious work for you. For example, gather the eggs that the dinos poop out while they stand around in near your house and you just have to constantly run around pick them up if you don't want to. This is the vacuum cleaner for you. The vacuum cleaner Ovi Raptor 5000 is right here. Now, as you could see on this map right here, the Ovi Raptors are located mostly at the th southern portion and somewhat located along the beach side. Basically, they kind of have a same habitat as well basic regular raptors, you know, along the shoreline and in the greenery. Now, to tame one of the Ovi Raptors is actually quite easy. Well, you know, depending on the situation that you're in. If they all they do is require a single trank arrow. I mean, maybe two, depending on the level. This one is level five. It's kind of got stuck between these two rocks and is giving me a beautiful opportunity of, well, shooting him. You shoot the dino. You give it a moment, and now it has fallen on conscience. Unlike our previous dino that could sit on our shoulders, this one's torpor drops down really, really slow. If anything, his food is depleting by far faster than his torpor, allowing you to calmly collect narco berries and of course place it in his inventory or her inventory. Now, after you have tranked the dino and you have waited to starve it and then all of a sudden you decide to feed it raw meat, nothing happens. You're like, okay, maybe it doesn't eat raw meat. You gave it prime meat. Nothing happens towards taming. Its food goes up, but you don't understand. See, this is where the interesting thing happens with the dino. It only eats eggs when you're taming it. So you need to go and first obtain eggs. Either fertilize, unfertilize, it's irrelevant. You need to find yourself some eggs. Now, I have uh, collected some bronto eggs now we give it to the dino as you can see the taming progression has increased though you will need to starve the dino a lot further and you will need to give it a lot more eggs now we have starved our dino once again but this time around we're going to give it bronto fertilized eggs let's see the difference as you could see, the jump is much greater in taming. So, please note that if you give it fertilized eggs, you will succeed in taming it a lot quicker. Now, after doing my research and trying few things myself, I noticed that the bigger the egg, the more the dino will be tamed. These dinos, oviraptors, ov really enjoy quetzal eggs or anything huge that you can find. For example, giga eggs, but they're not out yet. Well, they will be out. They, from also what I've noticed, the Mosasaurus eggs, are, sorry if I butchered the name, also do a nice trick. You, though you do have to starve the dino quite a lot, even when you use those eggs. Because A, most likely you don't have a lot of eggs stored away. If you do, amazing. Uh, B, uh, you, the eggs fill them up really, really quickly. So, just starve them. You know, not like you're going, going, going to go anywhere, not like they're going anywhere. So, just enjoy your moment and, you know, feed it eggs. The interesting thing after you have uh, raised your dino and have fully tamed it is the fact that you don't need to feed it eggs. You can do perfectly fine with feeding it raw meat afterwards. As you could see, my current food is 9.90. And if I consume one raw meat, 
it's 10.35. You don't need to longer worry about the fact that you need to have eggs all the time to keep this dino fed. It will do perfectly fine with raw meat or prime meat. The interesting thing about this dino is when you set him on wandering, he constantly starts to look for eggs. As you could see, he has this nice little icon over his head. That means he's currently searching for eggs. As you could see, one of the dodos in this area had the egg. I just didn't manage to click record before he managed to grab them. I thought he was just running around. As you could see, he's now holding it in his hand. If you open up his inventory, you would notice that he has nothing on him. Now, to take the egg from the dino, you don't have to go in his inventory because, well, it's empty. What you have to do is you have to now target the egg in his hands, which is a little annoying because his hands continue to move. And, well, you know, you have to keep targeting, targeting it. Another interesting feature about the Oviraptor is the fact that he omits some kind of a gas. It doesn't really show on the, on the dino, but he omits an aphrodisiac that, well, helps the dinos to lay eggs. Apparently, while having this dino around, the chances that your dino will lay an egg will increase quite significantly. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this little guide on taming, feeding, and what do oviraptors do. If you like this video, please click like, please click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you have any comments that you would like to post about this dino, please post them in the description below, and I'll make sure to answer you. Thank you all, and have a wonderful day in a world of art.